when your dad tries to be cool. Are you sure we should ride our bikes down this hill? It looks pretty steep. Ugh, that's the point! This is the steepest hill in the world! Well, it's the nearest one to my house. Hey, Victor! You ready? Um, yes. Let's, uh... What's up, my home doggies? What's up? When I heard you crazy cats were going on a radical bike ride, I thought I could cruise along and hang ten. Go away, Dad. Uh, I mean, go away, total stranger who I've never met before. Victor, where is your protective gear? Remember the three H's. Helmet, high vis and hamster balls. Hamster balls? Enjoy the great outdoors confined within a plastic bubble where nothing can hurt you. <laughs> I've got two dads, and neither of them are this lame. <laughs> Remember to always be aware of your surroundings. Never forget, stinging nettles are nature's angriest plant. Don't worry if you hit a bee's nest. Bees will only sting you if they sense danger. Whoa! Wow, that was awesome! Whoa, that was so cool! Thank you. There's nothing more cool than staying safe and obeying all the rules. Isn't that right, son? What's up, my home doggies? I'm Derek Von Guff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of astronauts. Every day, the dinosaurs would stare up into the sky and wonder, where does the sun go at nighttime? And who does this moon think he is telling us when to go to bed? <laughs> Usually, dinosaurs would explore something by either eating or headbutting it. But space is far too high up to be explored, and not even the tallest tree is tall enough to reach it. So, to race into space, we need thrust. That just won't fly. Perhaps we need something that packs a bit more punch. <coughs> Not close enough, but at least you're still seeing stars. Maybe this rudimentary catapult will spring us into action. There must be an easier way to get into space. It's not rocket science. And with the invention of astronauts, Dinosaurs can now boldly go where they've never been before. Whoops. Well, maybe no one noticed. 